<laughs> what is going on, everybody? Depraved Slash here, and we are back with another music reaction. I'm Depraved. I'm Hellcat. And together we are... Hello, Depraved. Yes, we are. I have been excited. Very. All day. I was excited yesterday, too. To get to this song. Reason being, for those of you that have followed this channel for any bit of time, a lot of you will know Massive Man is actually my favorite artist on YouTube. Um, I'm not going to say that? on a technicality scale he's the best. I would still give that to Binks. But just in terms of the type of music he puts out, this caters more, his type of music caters more to my thoughts. The content. And stuff like that. Yeah. Um, Plus, he's amazingly talented. So oh, there yeah, is he's that hella talented. I'm not taking but that yeah, away from But yeah, content wise, um, it's your type of music. Yes. Uh, Introspective and deep for anybody who hasn't listened to him before. His songs pretty much almost always do have a introspective and deep message. Um, for those of you that have watched Deep Depression or Deep Depression Part 2, there's. Um, Fallen Angel. Brave. Not Deep Depression. That was... I'm sorry. That was T-Red. Fallen Angel and then Fallen Angel right. 2. There was... Um, Brave. Rumors. There's been quite a few. So many. <laughs> so many. Um, But no, nah, I have absolutely loved everything I've heard from Massive Men. There's not one song I've heard from him and gone, eh, it was okay. <laughs> um, now, this song is called Fan Letters. Fun little quick backstory about this song. I, I'm not actually a part of it. It's not that kind of backstory. Um, but I was an analyst's live when he was interviewing Massive Men. Right. Um, we both showed up for that. Right. And first off, I got reminded that Analyst was a part of the song Rumors, I had forgot. Right. Because I remember ta telling people I'd never heard Analyst before. Oh, no, I have. At that level. I mean, I definitely have now. But, you got corrected. Yeah. Um, That st stream corrected me. I was like, oh, okay, so... Never mind. I had heard him before I started doing reactions to him. Um, But aside from that, I had popped in and I donated and be like, hey, just wanted to let you guys know, you know, I love y'all. Hope y'all are doing great or something like that. And the massive man was like, yo, depraved, I'm glad you're here. Because I'm planning on... Because I'm doing a song called <laughs> Fan Letters that I'm specifically interested in what you've got to say about. It. And I think that was like a month ago. Right. Which is honestly not that fair. No. Like, I get that he's excited about his own track, and I, I... Great, that's great. But on the other hand, here we are sitting, twiddling our thumbs like... When's it coming out? Right. <laughs> Thanks, Mass. No. I am excited about this, though, or <laughs> for this. Um, I also know it is a deep and emotional track. But he then again, said it's I'm, one of the favorites of his that he's right. he's made. So. Um, and yeah, he said it's one of his personal favorites. So yeah, it wasn't his birthday just a few days ago? Yes, happy so late happy birthday, birthday, birthday man! I seen your stream pop pop up, but I was actually busy at work. Yeah, and by the time it's I been actually crazy. By the time I actually got done with the things I had to get done at work, the stream was gone. But happy birthday. We hope you had a really good one. Yes, happy late birthday. Love you, bro. And hope it was a very good one. That means he's a Leo, too. All my favorite people are Leos. <laughs> Except for my kids. They're just assholes. There's that. They count. All right. No, I love my kids. They're not assholes. They're actually some of the sweetest kids I have ever seen. Yes, they are. Okay. <clears throat> With that being said, this is, guys, Massive Man Fan Letters. We are going to react to this as if you have already heard the song or watched the video. If you have not, please click the link in the description below. Go watch the video. Like, subscribe to Massive Man. Massive Man is, again, hella talented. Um, then come on back because we'll still be here. Um, and yeah, I say that because we're going to pause it, talk about it, and break it down. We will pause more than you probably would normally enjoy out of a reaction channel because that's what we do. Or at least for your first time listen. Yes. Because it's going to be more than once. Yes. So, 
All right. With that being said. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, with Slash, I'm breaking down. This is Massive Man. Fan letters. Fan letters. I hope you get the message. Hi, my name is Aaron. Life is getting tough because I'm fighting with my parents. They don't understand it, what it's like to be afraid of coming out the closet because I'm secretly gay. I listen to your music. I find it therapeutic. And I don't feel alone when I hear it because it's soothing. You really seem to get me in ways I can't describe. When I listen to your music, I feel like I'm alive. That is exactly why we listen to them. Right. Um, 100% not on the gay side of things, but I have been there. Well, Mass doesn't normally sing about that. You know, it's it's just... Right. But I think that he's even mentioning more on the Fallen Angel side of things. Right. The song Fallen Angel helps him. I'm saying I've been in that situation where his music... Exactly. ...helps me through. Um, and, I, I, again, I'm glad... I don't know. Here's the thing. I think... In terms of homosexuality, growing up in today's day and age is a lot easier than it was 20 years ago. Okay. Because it, it is more accepted now. Right. As far as that extends, yes. There's um, more awareness of it, more tolerance I, for I, it. It's, I, it's not... It's still not easy. Do not get me wrong. Yeah, that's not what we're saying. Um, but I still feel like... And I'm not saying there's not people that still don't go through it. But it's so much easier to find people like you. Right. Um, there's there's also more connection ability right. in terms of the internet and streaming platforms and so on and so forth. So, again, it's it's not easy, especially when you're a kid, teenager. Right. But um, it is nice to know there's someone there for you. True. So where I, I was going with you. that... Um, I, I just, I feel like with it being more accepted today, because 20 years ago, yeah, if you'd have came out, people would look at you and be like, get the fuck away from me. Right. It was not accepted in most areas, period. Right. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, again, I know it's still difficult for people. I know there's still some people that are living in places. That are extremely conservative. Yeah. Are yeah. very much against that. And I'm just saying, I love y'all. Be yourself. Right. As long as you're safe, be safe. To get me in ways I can't describe when I listen to your music, I feel like I'm alive. I'm sorry for the bother, but I'm asking for your help. The pain is hard to deal with. I tried to hang myself. I'm at a breaking point and I want to end my life. So I'm reaching out to you, asking for advice. When your back's against the wall and you're reaching out for help. You don't know who to call, so you write to save yourself. Fan letters, fan letters, I pray that your days get better. Fan letters, fan letters, the words that you write I treasure. I just got fucking cold I, chills. I'm completely <laughs> broken out on them. His voice for this is, um, it's soothing, but has that little rasp to it still i mean it's just wow it's I, i'll have definitely way more to say at the end of this video but yeah this is mass this is fantastic dude <clears throat> fan letters the words that you write i treasure hi my name's sam my husband is abusive i love your song brave and i listen to your music i'm feeling so useless i need to run away my body has bruises and I know I'm unsafe. My kid is five. I taught him how to hide. So when his dad drinks, we can make it out alive. I'm sick of all the crying, sick of all the violence. I'm begging for your help. I really need guidance. I'm hoping that you get this and send me a prayer. <clears throat> or give me a response so I know that you care. I feel like I'm a ghost and there's nobody there. I'm stuck inside a loop of a terrible nightmare. When so... Hi. For those of you that don't know, the song Brave, which I have done a reaction to, is about a lady who is in an abusive, an abusive relationship. Um, 
where the guy ends up actually trying to kill her in the end. Right. Um, that one's a very powerful track as well. Right. Um, so I definitely could see. So like the first kid, people identifying with that. The first, the first kid identified with fallen, fallen angel. Fallen angel. She's identifying with brave. I want to say the next kid's going to. I'm just making a guess here. Maybe identify with either the song about school shootings. That's or, what I was. Thinking. Or Fallen Angel 2, because Fallen Angel 2 is about drug use. Right. That one was also incredible. So, I, I, that's my guess. It's so sad when she says, I've taught my five year old to hide. Like, and that's reality for some people, but right. I more so personally identify with the feel like I'm a ghost the invisibility thing so asking for just a response to know that somebody out there did hear you can see you um, I mean he's responding but you know when you are asking for guidance or support from some like say a mainstream artist that's got a huge following you can't guarantee that you're ever no. the letter will ever get there. So, you know, if you're going through this stuff, it's it's great that you identify with an artist and that their music helps you and, you know, join join the groups or whatever, but look for professional help too right. or support groups for specifically what you're going through with professionals at the helm because they are people that will reach back to you. Right. And it's part of their job. <clears throat> when your back's against the wall And you're reaching out for help You don't know who to call So you write to save yourself Fan letters, fan letters I pray that your days get better Fan letters, fan letters The words that you write I treasure Every single letter, every single phrase Every single word that is written on the page, I see it, I read it, I need it to survive. It's fans like you that seem to keep me alive. You give me purpose to help a lot of people. So he went the route that I was actually thinking before he started rapping. I was his, like, his route. I was even like, he could even go into his route on this. Yeah, his and perspective on the whole thing. Which is, you know, it just displays what an incredible guy he is. Right. Like every word, he reads it. He reads it all. Right. And it matters to him. It's like you that seem to keep me alive. You give me purpose to help a lot of people. It's really got me nervous because the world is full of evil. I'm sorry that you're sad and you're hurting inside. And these dark thoughts infiltrate and lurk in your mind. I get the struggle. Just know you're not alone. Every day's a battle inside of your war zone. Some people try to hurt you and others throw stones. When you're looking for a safe place you can call home. When your back's against the wall And you're reaching out for help You don't know who to call So you write to save yourself Fan letters, fan letters I pray that your days get better Fan letters, fan letters The words that you write are treasure Definitely one of my favorite songs he's well, done. Well, I mean, he's done it again. Yeah, <laughs> that definitely one of my favorites. Um, something this makes me think of, which I, I don't know if I've ever touched on it on channel before, but I've definitely gotten into conversations with people about it. Um, I feel like us and I use the term us broadly <laughs> over generalization um, us as influencers 
so YouTube right. artists. Anybody of independent. Indep independent artists have an easier time doing it, but even bigger artists, to an extent, I've always felt like we've had a responsibility to at least hear people with issues that are having issues out right and giving what advice we can if we're able to um and, and i say that because so I've, I've been in groups gaming groups before i got into the whole reaction thing where somebody would ask a streamer a question and the streamer goes well, if you really want help with that, you need to find professional help. Right. Because she's trying to look at it from a quote-unquote legal side of things. Right. I, I don't want to be hit with the ramifications of it coming back on me. But here's the problem. <clears throat> at least for me, if I tell somebody they need to go find professional help and then I get word a couple days later that that person killed themselves. Oof. The guilt. Because... <clears throat> I couldn't talk to him. Right. I think it's... I I agree with the responsibility part, but I want to make it clear that when I say that, take care of your yourself first. Right. Even as an influencer. Like, make sure that self-care is a thing. Don't... You can't help you can't other help... people if you're running on empty. Right. And you can't... I mean, you can't help everyone. But so, honestly, a lot of people... Just want... Just want someone to listen. Right. And respond as though they actually heard them. Um, I, I mean, I do think it's okay to clarify, like I did partway through the track, like if if you're having these serious issues, like suicidal ideology, for example, or you don't feel safe in your ho own home, I think it's great that you find somebody that you strongly identify with and that resonates at that soul deep level with you. That's amazing. And to reach out to them is also amazing. It, it means that you're okay with exposing yourself and your vulnerabilities to somebody. Um, but also, at the same time, professional help, even if it's in um, like just a Facebook group that you join that has to do with I don't know, I'm in fibromyalgia support groups on, on Facebook, that kind of thing. Um, just to be able to talk to other people that are where you are or have been where you are, but have actually some professional help behind it is also a very smart way to go. Um, yeah. And it's okay as an influencer to say, hey, like I've been in a similar situation. This is what I did to help me out. And not give like explicit details of you should do this step-by-step -step guide which would maybe give you legal responsibility but i do think that we're here to help people you know whether right. it's to make them laugh make their day better help them understand the music whatever it is we do have some sort of social obligation towards the people around us not just followers on social media but the people around us. Right. And if you guys want another song, um, and Maz, I don't know if you've heard this or not, but another song I absolutely love that this reminds me of um, is a song by Quadeca called I Don't Care. Um, right. Except his is the flip side of things, where he's getting messages from people, but he doesn't respond. And results of what happens when he doesn't respond and i mean you hear the first half of the song as you get to the first half you're just kind of like okay so quadek is just you know a jerk kind of a dick but <laughs> right he's also busy i okay yeah all right where are we going with this and then and you, then the you second verse and you're like oh i'm pretty sure i was like a left this turn. close to tears in that song right in my reaction to it it was whew, it's a rough one yeah but this this wasn't so much easier except for um the fact that his appreciation for his fans is so strong. Right. It's actually more of his love letter to the fans than it is the depressing 
fan mail that he can get. Like he sees it as almost like love letters because they identify with him and, and he's there for them. Well, and this is something I'm going to touch on during the tier, tier stream if we get a chance to do it this weekend because Mass is up on our tier right. stream. Um, Mass and Massetti, for those of you Massetti fans. Be if sure he to doesn't there. have six day overtime. Right. Well, I, but that I don't know yeah. yet. Um, but that is one of the things I'm going to touch on. Um, he does definitely have a niche of dealing with, I, I always compared him to like Tom McDonald, but with individual issues. Like, so like Tom McDonald always covers broad, you know, Mental racism, issues. Yeah, he, things like right. that, like actual, like major Social issues. Messages, yeah. And he deals with more of, internal struggles the, the mental issues mental emotional. issues emotional. and emotional yeah and it's one of the reasons why he is my favorite artist on youtube right um being somebody that's dealt with tons of depression but at the same time has studied so much on psychology right and i i love his music i had a point yeah and then my mind shit on myself. I was talking about the fact that it was love letters, almost. Right. Um, oh, but he has carved that niche that, while I do feel like in the very big grand scheme of things that could hold him back, which again, we'll probably go into further detail when we do right. the tear stream, I definitely feel like he's going to have more devoted fans from it. Right. Because he does get people that write and they're like, you know, hey, I'm dealing with this. And I don't know how much that he, that necessarily influences Mass's music, but you can definitely see. I mean, again, he's he, he's dealt with false rumors, right? Depression, drug use, um, abuse, right? Uh, and dude, just, and he's so good at conveying he's messages through it. He's such a nice it. person too. So good at conveying messages right. through it. And Very again, good at the storytelling, guys. Very it's not good. it's not that he can't rap rap either. I'm just saying because I've heard him do it. But I really liked that kind of singy, and then when the hook hit, right. just beautiful. It was beautiful. And honestly, I, I do feel like this is a, a love letter. Like, yeah, I know our conversations might have that tone of depression to them, and that's what we identify with, but your support and love is what keeps me going, and my vulnerability on the track and being able to sing about it is what keeps you going. And right. so, therefore, it's just a symbiotic relationship where we're trying to lift each other up and support each other in this mutual understanding. Right. So, absolutely beautiful mass. Fantastic. <laughs> All puns intended. Um, Normally. <clears throat> always. Always. <laughs> So, yeah, with that being said, guys, if you guys like the video, slash that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications. Comment down below, what did you think of Massive Man fan letters? Also, comment down below if there's anything else you guys want to see reacted to. Check the description below for all the things. Guys, again, please click the Pop link in the description over. below. Go to Massive Man's page. Leave a like. Leave a sub. Let them know. You won't be disappointed. You. Yeah. Um, also, down in the description below, all the things. Push our buttons. Come join us on our other social media platforms. Mostly Twitter if you want a response. That was amazing. Aha! I responded to something on Instagram today for the first time in almost three months. That wasn't a direct message. D don't follow him on Instagram. Alright, so with that PSA, we love you guys. Thank you all for watching, and we cannot wait to see you to brave people later. Peace. Night, guys. <laughs>